Hey guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to my Sims 4 LP Part 1. I am seriously so excited that I might, I don't know, faint, which I know is a bit dramatic for a video game release, but I am super, super excited. I cannot believe I'm about to press play. I'm literally shaking, but before we get into the gameplay, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit about who I am and my channel. So I am Life Simmer, also known as Christina, which I know it sounds sassy when I say it because it's a really sassy name. Um, but I have been playing The Sims since 2003 when The Sims 1 was out. And then I got The Sims 2 in 2004 and The Sims 3 when it came out and now I'm getting The Sims 4. It's crazy to think we are here with the fourth generation of the game. It's insane and I'm so happy to see it because as a longtime simmer, you know, just knowing that our stories continue before it's we head into the gameplay, can we just look at this loading screen? How freaking cool is this? All of the different animations with the different sims, I think it is a very nice touch and I am a big fan. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the gameplay. Alrighty, everybody, and welcome to Create a Sim, where you create sims. I know, who would have thought, right? I don't know. Uh, but in case you are new to the game, like this is your first ever gameplay, let me just tell you that Create a Sim is pretty much where you make these little, little creatures right here called sims. They're just great. So Create a Sim has been a utter evolution. I'm serious, I mean, Go look at The Sims 1 graphics. They are literally pixels. It is absolutely insane to see how far the graphics have come. Uh, the Sims 1, like I said, definitely not the best quality. Pixels, just that's all I'm going to say. Even though I freaking love that game and I still play it to this day. The Sims 2, very smooth, very comparable to The Sims 4 graphics. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, the Sims 3, very realistic and I think custom content looked amazing in The Sims 3 and I hope that custom content will look just as good as in The Sims 4. And The Sims 4 graphics, you are looking at them right now guys, I think they are spectacular. They have resorted back to kind of the cartoony look but I think it's, it's awesome. I think the graphics are incredibly smooth and I honestly think Sims, this is like the best they've ever looked. Uh, but that's just my opinion. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into uh, making my sim. I decided to go ahead and wait off and create a sim with you guys instead of, you know, pre-making her and everything. Just so I can show you guys how crazy create a sim is. There was a create a sim demo where I explored pretty much all of the female and male young adult content. So if you guys want to check that out, I will link those in the description bar down below. But there is some new content which I'm really excited about. So, first thing we're gonna do is make my sim bald. Yes, we're gonna make her bald as ever and she needs to take the hat off. <laughs> so what we're gonna go ahead and do is sculpt her face into the shape that I want it to be. I really don't know what shape that is. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and sculpted out her face a little bit, added, you know, a new skin color, eye color, and her hair. I also put some really nice eyebrows on because I swear eyebrows are like the most important thing of 2014. I'm kidding, but you get what I'm saying? Like, they are seriously like the beauty trend of 2014, which kind of sucks because my eyebrows are not that great. Um, I'm not Cara Delevingne, nor am I Tumblr. Tumblr quality. My eyebrows just aren't on fleck. 
Uh, so pretty much here she is. I think she's gorgeous. I feel like she has this very exotic look to her, which oh, is just so hot. You know, she has like a very, I don't know, very unique look to her, if I do say so myself. I love her hair color. It's gorgeous. Um, and her hair is my favorite hair from The Sims 3 so far. Or not The Sims 3. <laughs> no, The Sims 4, everybody. All right, so what I decided to go ahead and do is actually fast forward through all of the new create a sim items because if you guys don't know the demo already showed us a majority of what we received with the sims 4 but with the base game coming out they did go ahead and include some new content so i decided the easiest way to show it and probably the quickest way is to go ahead and fast forward through it so keep your eyes on the screen <laughs> props to the person who thought adding a nacho libre mask was the best idea ever because in all honesty best content we have received yet I purchased the premium edition of The Sims 4, which resulted in me getting animal hats. I freaking love the chicken one. I don't know why, but just yes. Just yes. And a wiener hat, of course. It's like all I've ever wanted. Seriously, guys. We got these in The Sims 3 seasons, and they're back with The Sims 4 base game. Wieners. Accessories! Lots of accessories. I think my favorite accessory are the overly sized pearl earrings. I think those are to die for, so there's just a lot of them. But one thing I do have to complain about though is actually how the hanging earrings hang, I guess. They just look really stiff and I'm not a fan of that like at all. However, I do think that the hoop earrings look a lot better than the rest of them. And for not having creative style, which frickin' sucks, I do have to say that the color combinations and just the colors in general that they gave us with our accessories and so on, etc., are really nice. You have a nice combination between neutral and like neons and colorful colors. I don't know. It's nice. Don't even get me started on these sunglasses. They are to die for. And they're also a like mood lit type of glasses. You actually feel a little glamorous when you wear them, which I think is pretty freaking cool. And thank you EA for an array of glasses because let me tell you, I always, always hated how there were not a large selection of glasses in The Sims 3. I feel like it's almost kind of like defeating the purpose of having glasses. So thank you EA for putting some very nice styled glasses here in the base game. Makeup! Woo! Uh, so there's really not much new makeup. There's, I believe, one new eyeshadow and two new face paints and one lipstick, which the lipstick is amazing, by the way. <laughs> I have to say that the clothing that came with the base game are so much better than what came with the demo. Now I understand why they were not releasing all the clothes with the demo because I personally love the new clothes. So, yay. Also, have you guys seen the Assassin's Creed inspired hat and clothing? Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm also very happy to say that there are more wedding dresses or wedding appropriate dresses, I suppose you can say. Just, yeah, okay, I, I was so excited when I saw these. And I think probably my favorite clothing items are the tops that came with the base game. They are so freaking cute. There's one with like a cardigan and a belt and it's just like to die for. I would literally, I'd, I'd kill somebody for that top. And one thing that I think is really awesome is that they actually gave you a different selection of styles instead of kind of just basing it off what they like or you know what I mean? You have different styles of different clothing for different 
Sims. So I love that. Also, another thing that I heard about the clothing, which I'm pretty sure is true, is everything is maternity enabled, which means no matter what, your sim can look cute while they're pregnant, which thank the freaking gaming lords because they looked hella ugly when they were pregnant in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. Unless you got custom content, that is. Honestly, I am not feeling the bottoms that much. I just don't like the selection that we have, so I'm really hoping I can find some custom content bottoms that I like, or some DLC, or, I don't know, a stuff pack, hopefully soon, because I'm just really not feeling the bottoms. And we definitely need some high-waisted stuff to go with those crop tops, because that would make a really cute outfit, so, just saying. Yes, shoe time! Uh, there are actually a few new shoes, and uh, for the most part, I can't really tell the difference between them and the demo, but just looking through all the shoes in general, I think there is a really nice selection of shoes, including flip-flops that look really nice and casual, and I think the wedges are also really cute, so I like. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is put some clothing on this fun, practically naked lady. Um, I'm not sure, I'm actually gonna make her boobs a little bit smaller. All right, so, and that head's, that head is a big head. <laughs> so I think that the clothing outfits that I wanna do are probably something along this line. I think this is really, really nice. Or maybe a little dress. I'm not sure, in all honesty. I think all of the new clothing that we received, okay, I said this one because this is hella cute. Um, for the most part, all of the new clothing are to die for, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose probably these like little boots right here. It's September guys, it's September. It's time for boots and all that good fun stuff. Uh, now, oh, there's some new leggings. There's these galaxy print leggings. Those are pretty neat, love. Um, there's nothing too, too crazy in here, like new rings and stuff. I just want to get into the gameplay. It's new bracelets, which I can't show you guys actually underneath her outfit, but you know, I'm not much of an accessory girl anyways, so it's all right. I don't know. I kind of want to do something like this underneath, like that maybe. It's kind of cute with some uh, pantyhose going on there. I like pantyhose. And maybe some little... Yeah. Oh, actually, those might look cute. These right here. Yeah, and that's what I'm gonna do because it's fall time. Or not, I guess, it's not officially fall time, but it's coming close, so. I'm excited. Fall candles, pumpkins, all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, I really, really like her outfit, but now we're gonna go ahead. This is her everyday outfit. Her formal attire, we're gonna do probably this one up here. Oh, she looks super hot there. You get it, girl. I think I'm gonna do this one. I think it's just really nice and simple. And I think I'm gonna do black, because a little black dress goes with everything. Some heels, of course. We'll do these ones right here. Uh, accessories, we're gonna put like a nice little ring on her to jazz it up a little bit. And probably some pantyhose as well. Uh, I don't know, maybe not pantyhose, we're just gonna get rid of the pantyhose. And for her accessories, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of those. Makeup, let's see, for her formal makeup, we'll do heavy eyeliner <laughs> and maybe a smoldering eye. Right there, gorgeous, love it. All right, so her athletic wear. Uh, we'll do a tank top. A nice tank top and yoga pants, because I love yoga pants. And some sneakers. On to sleep attire. 
we will go ahead and put this okay well i kind of was saying how much i want to use this so i'm gonna use it uh it's very sexy but you know later in the in the lp i will put something a little bit more i guess modest on her but for now we're just gonna throw some uh some hot hot lingerie on her uh, we're gonna do purple because i do like that and we're gonna put some new slippers on her cool i like slippers makes everything sexier guys and her party outfits this is probably the more casual than formal attire but still a little dressed up you know uh so i'm going to put probably once again a little dress on her or maybe a nice top i don't know i don't know probably a dress probably a dress Probably this one right here because I do like it uh, well you know what I, I would be like a little weirded out if somebody like who looks like she's so much older popped in on like a prom dress so <laughs> I think I'll actually do this one an emerald I like that color the nice emerald and some nice little heels of course these ones right here Accessories, she's got to spice it up a little bit. Maybe these. Yeah, that will work right there. Pantyhose or not to pantyhose is the question. Probably not to pantyhose with these. Probably not to pantyhose. Uh, and let's go ahead and put some makeup on her. For her party makeup, we will give her... I, I, pretty much for the most part, I do like how... Her makeup looks so i'm not going to do anything too dramatic we're just going to you know give her some smoldering makeup right here i like this one because it has like the touch of green in it which matches her dress really well so we'll do that um and last but not least the final thing that we need to do is go ahead and pick her aspirations now like i was saying my sim is pretty much going to be your typical I don't know typical girl she's just moving into a new town she doesn't know much about it or the people and she's you know just going to build a life here in the sims 4. all right it is time to pick an aspiration pretty much what an aspiration is is a direction in what you want your sims life to be you don't necessarily have to follow that direction nor complete the aspiration but it is one of those things that gives you a little bit more personality a little bit more spunk uh as most of you guys know food is my life i am a food junkie I eat everything, literally everything, except frog legs. I won't do that because I am terrified of frogs, but I'm a huge food junkie. I eat a lot. Just, oh, yes. So what I'm going to pick is the food aspiration. Now you have the master mixologist or the master chef, and my sim is going to be the master chef. I'm also going to go ahead and give her the foodie trait, which I would definitely have. So these sims become happy and have fun when eating good food, become uncomfortable when eating bad food, and can watch cooking shows for ideas. Which is actually really cool. Uh, she's going to be a little self-assured, which means you know, you're just confident. There's nothing wrong with that. And last but not least, she's going to be... I'm going to say... Hmm creative why not nothing is better than having some awesome ideas. so now we gotta go ahead and name her actually i haven't named her yet but before we do so we're gonna go ahead and uh learn to walk i guess we can have the perky walk the snooty walk the swagger walk the feminine walk which is my favorite the tough walk the goofy walk the sluggish walk and the bouncy walk um, I honestly think that the feminine walk is like the most natural looking one. I don't know why, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, the feminine walk in her voice. We're going to do it more towards the sweet. Actually, hold on. Right, right here. I, yeah, I guess exactly where it was before. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is... Her. Now we just gotta go ahead and name her. I haven't even given her a name. How crazy is Alrighty, that? Alrighty, so if you guys can see this, her name is Candace Monette. I really love the name Candace, and I think Monette is it's pretty swanky, so Candace Monette. If you want to download my sim, I'm gonna go ahead and make her available for download. My username on Origin is a little weird. It's Luff 
Summer because somebody took Life Simmer. So I will put it on the screen right now so you guys can see how it is spelled so you can have Candace in your gameplay and all of that fun stuff. Now because I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious on how children look, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Here's children. Here's teenagers. Young adults. Adults. Really, actually nothing different. And elder. Yay, they don't have hutchbacks anymore. It's so exciting. Uh, so we'll explore more of all of that, you know, throughout the LP, because this is the very first part. This is my first LP, I'm pretty sure, where I've only had one sim, which to me is insane. Uh, so here we are with Candace Monette. In the next part, we are going to go ahead and explore the worlds and all of that fun stuff, or the world that I choose, and move into the town. I will see you all next time. Hope you all enjoyed. Bye okay, so there was supposed to be a video of me here talking at the end, but I'm ratchet. It did not happen. I had literally woken up maybe 10 minutes before filming this, threw on a little bit of makeup, and called it a video, and it was just... It was a mess. Uh, so I, pretty much what I wanted to say here at the end is if you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description down below. And if you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe. I produce pretty much daily content and I am really excited to actually get more parts of this up. So yeah, bye guys.